Starting today, if you get pulled over while driving in Jacksonville because your headlight, brake light, or your turn signal is not working, you will not get a ticket. It's part of a new initiative announced today called Lights On. News for Jackson reporter Aaron Farrar shows us what you'd get instead, thanks to a new partnership between JSO and the Jaguars. When you hear that sound, it can be intimidating. Now, there's a new program to prevent you from getting ticketed for having something like a burned out taillight. This is the voucher you'll now get. It will allow you to go to a local repair shop and get it fixed for free. The Jacksonville Sheriff's Office believes holding off on giving a ticket can encourage a positive relationship between officers and the community they serve. You know, if we give out 500 of these tickets a year, now we're giving out uh, 500 uh, positive interactions with locals and uh, that's 500 safer cars on the street and that's 500 businesses that are getting uh, customers coming into their, into their shops. I'm here at the stadium where the Lights On initiative was announced earlier today. The program is a partnership with the Jaguars. The Jags will help pay the bill for the car repairs, not taxpayers. Former NFL tight end Marcus Pillard, now the director of player development for the Jags, thinks this will lead to positive engagement in communities between residents, law enforcement, and players who want to do more outreach. So many of our players live in some of these underserved communities, and to have this initiative to be spread across the country one day is very positive. Sherman Patterson is the program director for Light Song. He says the plan came in place in 2017, a year after Philando Castile was killed during a traffic stop in Minnesota. With this new plan in place, Patterson says tensions can ease. And then the anxiety goes down on the officer. It goes down. It really goes down on that motorist. And that conversation starts with, how, wow, I can't believe this here. The motorist is feeling are really good. And that positivity can spread to families and through police departments. Aaron Farrar, Channel 4, The Local Station. Jacksonville is the first city in Florida to adopt this new plan. There are nine auto shops so far in the city where you can take your car to get the problem fixed. And if you get one of those vouchers, JSO says you're going to have 14 days to get your problem fixed at one of those shops.